First thing we're gonna do is stop by Home Depot to get all the goods. I'm gonna show you a bunch of alternative cheap options to the normal options. If you don't have a Home Depot near you, you can get all this stuff online as well. I'll leave some links in the description where to get the goods. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is grab some concrete. We're gonna do that. But I am gonna grab some mortar. Most skate spots are made with rapid set quickcrete, which is a great concrete to use. But since today we're trying to build a spot and skate it within eight hours, a nice tight time frame. We're gonna use mortar because it just dries faster. Downfall to mortar, it's more powdery and it's just not as strong. So that's tip number one is use mortar if you're trying to skate it fast in the same day. Tip number two is to use 90 pound bags instead of the 60 pound. 60 pound bags are definitely easier to move around than 90 pounds are more of a pain in the ass to move around and just work with, but you're gonna save a couple bucks. I'm gonna grab one bag of quickery as well to mix in with the spec mix, just so that our concrete isn't too powdery, but I'll dive more into that later. Something you're gonna wanna do when you're working with concrete or dust is to get a face mask to avoid all that dust just going into your lungs is really bad for you. Actually, where the face masks are, it looks like they're sold out. They're a high commodity, but definitely get a face mask. I'm gonna invest in one right now. Lungs are definitely worth $3, so get it, it's worth it. Someone recently asked in one of my videos, is what you're doing illegal, building skate spots? And the quick answer is yes, but life in the world isn't that black and white. Sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission, and that's kind of my look on it. Things like Washington Street, Burnside, some legendary skate parks were just built on Renegade and then asking for permission later. My tip number four for today is to grab a vest and just fake it. Act like you're a city worker, act like you're doing something for the city. It does help, and it works. I'm like a little kid when it comes to Home Depot. Look how rad this is. All right, I got all the supplies ready to go build the spot. I do have some tools that you're gonna need if you don't already have them, like a rub brick, for example, a float, two different types of float, the finishing and the starting, floating. If you don't already have all that stuff, make sure you grab that as well, but we got everything we need for today's DIY. Recently built a DIY jersey berry with my buddy Ricky, and he had this drill bit mixer that he was mixing the concrete with using his drill instead of using a shovel. So I'm gonna find one of those today because I think it'll be really helpful and just take some of the stress off the arms and more focus on the building. Someone recently made a comment on one of my videos and they said, hey, where do you find spots to build at? And I made a whole video about how to find skate spots, so you can check that out. But I will say when I'm driving, it's always on the left and the right side of my mind. I think it's just embedded in me now, so I'm always looking for spots to build at. And so tip number five I'm gonna say is just be prepared when you go build a spot. Seek it out, know where it is, know the sketch level, and just be prepared so that when you're doing it, it's not so much of a rush and you have an idea of what's going on around you. It actually rained last night, so the whole ditch is nice and clean. It's actually ideal to build a spot right after it rains because it's less cleaning that you have to do. I'm gonna jump into some dirty clothes that I'm down just to get messy and let's start building. Tip number six is to keep in mind the city infrastructure and just to not mess with the city infrastructure because that's a quick way for your DIY spot to get blown out. So don't cover manholes like we've seen right here and just be cognizant, be aware of what's going on with the city and what they need to be in place for a reason because that's just a quick way to get your spot blown out. There's a lot of DIY spots that become full-blown city skate parks and I think a lot of that is just working with the city and having respect when you're building in the very beginning when you're doing Renegade. Tip number seven, I will say DIY is all about doing yourself. That's what DIY stands for. But if you have a buddy or a friend to build with, it's much more fun and just an enjoyable experience and less work for just one individual to do. So if you have a friend or some friends or buddies, build with them, do it with them, learn it with them. I'm building by myself, so if you're alone, I build alone all the time, I actually prefer it. So build with some buddies or build with yourself. We got the spot all cleaned up, ready to go. Now I just gotta mix some concrete and start getting down to with it. And before we start mixing, let me just say, tip number eight is you want one part concrete to every five parts water. Basically you want it to be a consistency of like a modeling clay, and that's when it's ready to start working with. By the way, the concrete mixer tool that I got it is gonna work, but it's not gonna work today because I don't have the right drill bit to connect it to my drill. So we're gonna use the old fashioned shovel. Since we're using mortar, it does dry really quickly and kind of becomes a powdery sort of liquid substance after a while. So you definitely really wanna work 
very quick when you're using mortar as well. If you're doing a really thin amount of mortar, it can dry up to like 12 hours fully cured. If you're doing a thicker amount of mortar, it could take up to 24 hours to fully cure. It's a lot easier to mix in more concrete than it is to take away water. So I got it to a pretty good place. I don't want to waste too much time since I am mixing in a bucket. Time is of the essence right now, but I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I just got done laying all the cement. Now I actually just let some liquid concrete go right on the top and the bottom seams just to bond the old and the new concrete together so that it just doesn't break apart as it's carrying. Tip number nine is to use a wood float in the very beginning when you're doing a concrete. It lets all the water come up. After you've used your wood float, you wanna use your metal float for the finishing, get that nice buttery concrete smooth finish. Tip number 10 is just to keep the spot wet while it's curing. It just helps it from the curing process from cracking. Now we just gotta let the spot dry. We're gonna come back with the boys and then there's one secret sauce, one more secret tip to really gain the spot. Extra rad, extra good for skating. We'll get to that next. Always wash your tools when you're done. You don't wanna just leave them all wet with concrete on them. Wash them up so that you can use them for your next spot build. All right, guys, we're back at the spot. I'm gonna reveal it with you for the first time in its final curing process. I could kind of see it down there, but I really don't know what it looks like. So we're gonna see in a second. Then we're gonna add the secret sauce. It looks really cured perfectly. It looks like everything's exactly where we wanted it to be. The only thing is I do see some cracks on it right here. Now it is time, it's time, it's finally time. We are there. I'm gonna dust off the top of the bank and then we're gonna add the secret sauce. And what the secret sauce is, is a rub rig. That is honestly every skateboarder's best friend, best tool. It's like a good $15 investment that you can basically make any spot skatable with. I made a full video about this and how to build a skate spot in like five minutes. I'll leave a little link up there somewhere. You can check that out. But yes, I'm gonna rub brick this bad boy down. We're gonna use a face mask to avoid the dust getting in your lungs. I guess that's tip number 11 if we wanna squeeze one more tip in there. and. Then it's gonna be ready to hit, ready to skate, ready to roll, ready to tell your friends and get out there and get it. I built this spot all by myself, so if you don't have anybody to go build with, you can build by yourself. It's all good and you can still have a good time. Woo, rubber king takes a lot of your energy, a lot of your breath. Having two people again does help when you're building a spot, but sometimes you just gotta make it happen for yourself. So I hope this video brought you some inspiration to get out there and build your own spot or just build your own stuff regardless if it's skateboarding, videography, photography, whatever it is, go make it happen for yourself. I'm gonna try to get a couple grinds in. It is getting dark, the sun's going down, so hopefully we get some grinds before it gets dark. I'm gonna come back and paint the top of this, wax it all up, get some more sessions. I'm sure I'll make another video with a skate session on the spot. I am out of breath. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I make all sorts of DIY skateboard videos, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, like button, it helps me a lot. Support the channel. See you next one, MASH.